Hey family, you know, there's a big difference between reading the Bible and studying the Bible. If you've ever wondered how to study it and not just read it for what it is, in other words, reading the Bible literally versus literally, this is going to be your video. I'm going to go through an app that I use. It's completely free. Well, I think they have something they charge for, but um, you, you don't need to go through a, through that. But essentially, it's going to show you you know, the meaning of words, the context of scripture. It's going to take you even back to the Greek and Hebrew. So if all of that is interesting to you and you want to learn more, stay tuned because I'm about to show you what the app looks like and walk you through the different resources within the app that I personally use. Okay, so the Bible app that you're going to want to uh, download is the Logos Bible. It is available for both Android and iOS. However, as I go through this with you guys, it may look different if you have Android. I don't know 100%, uh, but I'm just giving you a heads up if it does look differently than what I'm going to walk you through. Another point that I want to make is if you see right here on the apps that I have, right to the left of it is my regular Bible app. I use that one specifically for reading the Bible, and I use my Logos Bible specifically for studying the Bible. You'll understand why in a second as I go through the resources, but I just kind of want to make that a uh, disclaimer before I go too in-depth. Uh, but anyways, go ahead and download it, pause the video if you need to, and then come back. All right, so what I'm going to do is tap on Logos Bible. Now yours may look differently because you don't already have any resources preloaded, but yours at the bottom right where mine shows uh, the number five, you may have a plus sign. So it'll look kind of like this. So if you tap on that plus sign, you actually see there's a bunch of resources that you could download within this app. So the first one, um, oh, actually before I go into that, if you notice on the top where it says find resources in that search box, that's where you're going to type whatever resource you're going to want to use. So like the ones that I'm about to give you, that's where you would type it. Now, the first one that you're going to search for is whatever translation of the Bible you want to use. Personally, I use the Holman Christian Standard Bible. I can make a whole different video on the reason why I use that. But anyways, go ahead and download whatever version of the Bible you want. And then again, come back here. All right. So for this example, I want to use a piece of scripture that maybe we all know. So to the right of where you see Judges 9, uh, 37, there are four horizontal bars. We're going to tap on that. This is how we're going to navigate through the Bible using the app. So I'm going to go to John 3, 16. All right. Now, uh, first things first, if you want to let's say look up a specific word that may not make sense to you let's use the word perish in this case for uh, under john 3 16 so i'm going to put my finger over the word hold it down and you'll notice that this uh, pop-up comes up now by the way you could highlight a whole uh, verse you know chapter multiple verses and highlight it as you can see here copy share note you know so on and so forth but again this one uh, i'm just trying to show you guys uh, the definition uh, uh, part of this. You'll notice at the bottom, you'll see uh, some uh, Greek in here, actually even the Hebrew uh, version of that word. Matter of fact, you'll even see from a grammar standpoint, if it's a verb, if it's an adjective, if it's a noun, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, matter of fact, if you scroll up a little bit, you'll see the American Dictionary down there where it'll just translate that word to something that maybe just we understand based on our vocabulary but anyways i just wanted to show you guys how to navigate through the bible and how to research a specific word the next translation you're going to or sorry the next resource you're going to want to download is the exegetical guide exegetical guide now this one, actually, you know what, before I go in depth on what it's used for, let's go ahead and find John 3.16 again. So we're going to go back to those four horizontal bars, John 3.16. And if you scroll down just a little bit, you'll actually see that it goes through the whole verse and it breaks down um, sometimes group of words like in this way or 
a specific word like loved or God, and it tells you the Hebrew word for it. It gives you also the Greek word for it, and it also tells you just like what we saw in the previous resource, which would be whatever translation you download it. If it's a verb, adjective, that kind of thing. So this one is just more of an expansive uh, version of that little box that popped up in in the last um, resource that we went through. It's the same thing, but again, it just is more expansive. So this is going to be another resource. Also, I would download Faith Life Study Bible. Now, this is not just necessarily a Bible. This is really where we're starting to go into the context of what we're reading. So again, let's look up John 3.16. Horizontal bars, John 3.16. Boom, pulls up there. And you'll notice, um, like under this verse, John 3.16, it says, God so loved the world. And then it tells you the meaning of that those specific words. Um, and you'll see uh, one and only son. It even uh, brings in the Greek into perspective. It tells you the meaning uh, of those specific words. It's really, really good. Now, I'll tell you, there's two resources I use for context. This is going to be one of them, and this is going to be the one that is going to be e the most easy to understand of the two. And you'll see why in a second when I uh, give you the other one. But I think this one's really, really good in regards to finding out the context. Now, the next one is going to be commentary, critical, and explanatory on the whole Bible. Again, let's look up John 3.16. John 3.16. So this is the one that I said can uh, is the other one that may not be as easily read. So, for example, you'll see here that it uh, is talking about just for God so loved. And you'll see that there's a lot more written on this than uh, on that last resource. But if you're reading through this, you'll notice that sometimes the words used here are a little bit more complex than the one from the last resource. So I think this is amazing. I would actually use both of those resources inter interchangeably to truly understand the uh, the um, the context behind that scripture. But I just wanted to let you know that one is just more easily read than the other. So this is going to be that second one. And I think there's only one other one that I, oh no, that last one I actually, so this one here, by the way, where you're seeing Faith Life Study Bible Infographics, I just have this on here because I think it's really cool. Um, it actually gives you a visual because I'm a visual learner of like, you, you could see here like Solomon's Temple, Rome in Paul's Day, Israelite Encampment, you know, all, all that stuff, but from a visual perspective. So it just makes a little bit more sense as you're reading uh, God's Word. So I, I just really, really like that. But Nothing that you absolutely need in terms of studying. So those would really be the four things that I would have on there. So again, whatever translation you want, the exegetical guide, Faith Life Study Bible, and then the commentary one as well. By the way, if you want to go uh, back and forth between these, you can do like I, as I've been doing. All I've been doing is tapping at the bottom like where it says five, and that's what's been pulling this up where I could just go left and right. Or... Another way to do this is you could just swipe left and right, and it'll go that way. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I thought that this would be informative, help you guys study a little bit more. If there's anything I could do to help, please, please let me know. Throw uh, any questions or suggestions or feedback in the comments. I love you guys. I'm praying for you all, and God bless each of you.